Hello and welcome everyone to another episode of Through an Opaque Lens with me, Niall Murphy. And here I am, and I think it's, um, yeah that's right, I think. It is Friday the 17th of April 2020, the year of the Lurgy. And here I am, out here in the countryside, and there's a horse behind me in a field there. Yeah. And I've just found a nice little byway that I could go um, and walk along, and a little off-road that takes me off the byway surrounded by all this lovely lush greenery stuff and especially on the ground you can see a lot of um, nice leaves, dock leaves, nettles, all that sort of stuff you know and uh, yeah I decided I needed to get just a little bit off road to do this off the path so to speak because um, there have been a few too many humans out I thought with the weather being a little bit bad at the moment cloudy and a little bit cooler than it has been without the sunshine that I could come along here and I would be able to find a nice and um, peaceful um, human or normie free day so to speak um, but no the lurgy wants to follow me <laughs> so there you go oh well so today what I'd like to talk about in this um, episode is I would like to talk you know in particular about my plans for this channel now of course um, as we go through um, this bit of time that we're in at the moment this lockdown it's quite challenging um, one of the problems is as I've said a few times I don't really like to go on social media that much I don't really like to go on Facebook that much just purely because I'm absolutely sick to death of people talking about conspiracies now there will be people out there that will say oh either I'm the sheeple or I'm burying my head in the sand or I'm you know or wake up and all that sort of stuff but it's not good to be surrounded by lots of hysterical headless chickens running around reacting to absolutely everything that is said all of the time that is not really um, conducive to me um, practicing stoicism and keeping myself in a calm frame of mind in order so that I can actually be sane because that's what it's all about so I'm focusing on what um, is good because I've had my days of feeling despair there is a lot of stuff out there that makes me feel scared and um, you know a lot of this is probably just as much as it's to do with the lurg a lot of this is to do potentially with um, stuff that is financial and I am kind of thinking well how the hell am I going to survive and I am having days where I'm freaking out about that and then I have to practice stoicism so that I can get it together to think well what the hell I'm okay now I'm okay hopefully you know for the rest of the year hopefully into next year too so you know, with that being said um, you'll see me on the good days you'll see me on the better days you'll not see me on the bad days in between right so that's the thing um, it is a struggle and it is a challenge but in my position as I'm doing what I'm doing and being as sensitive a person as I have found myself to be in my lifetime I have to somehow keep it together I have to be calm I have to keep my brain positive and focused because yes I know that there are some issues in the world right so I thought well what can I do the first thing I thought to do would be I'm quite happy to not drive for three months that's the first thing I'm quite happy even to not leave this town for three months if need be while I am um, you know hide from the lurgy um, there's plenty of nice locations that look good on film that I can go to so I thought, right, well, with the money I saved by having my car officially off-road, sawned, that money that I could save that way over the course of three months would buy me a new camera, a replacement for this one, the GoPro Hero 4, the obsolete GoPro Hero 4, which is a little bit lo-fi, and as I spin around, um, it's kind of, it does bleach out a lot of the detail, unfortunately. Um, well, I'm going to be soon replacing that with a Canon M50 so um, very soon you'll see the difference there I've also worked out because I like this um, I like this three-way mount that I've got and um, I've also worked out with a little bit of ingenuity and a little bit of improvisational skills with adapters and what I call modified uh, GoPro connector adapters and all of that yes I've worked out how I can put the Canon um, camera on this um, on this um, stand, this, this mount that I've got, and carry it around with me. So I don't have to, you know, uh, buy another one, because that's the thing, it's expensive enough having to buy this and then buy replacement batteries and buy the other things I want to try to um, limit what I'm spending. And it has, of course, this new um, Canon has uh, got um, stabilisation. 
so it won't jitter as much as I'm moving around, which is kind of cool. All right, it won't have the smoothness of a gimbal, but to be honest, I've seen what the, the, what the uh, camera's done with uh, YouTubers who have just not got gimbals, just got normal monopods that they're holding, and have actually activated the stabilisation, and it looks up to a professional and a standard for me, so that will do. And of course, I'm still waiting for the lavalier mic. Um, that's another thing. I won't necessarily always need the lavalier mic. It will come in handy for some applications, but um, I won't need it for others. But between um, all of that, I will have the Canon, I will have the Zoom H1n, and I will have the Tascam lavalier mic. And all three of these things will then, therefore, bring this channel up to a decent professional standard. And I'll be happy with that. The production values then will be up to um, the standard that I need them to be. Because, let's be honest, if I do want to... Um, you know, get this channel up and running. Um, as I am, and as I have, uh, you know, acquired the skill and put a lot of effort into um, high production standards, and as that's one thing that I would like to peddle as a means of trying to get freelance work in the future, if I can get, um, you know, up to a certain, get my, yeah, to say, uh, subscribers up to a certain number and get high profile enough, then of course, as a, that's what I'm going to do. Then, then I will have to demonstrate these skills. There's no point in me appearing second rate, trying to blag for work, is there? When it comes to it, because that, that's that's uh, something that's really important, and that is um you know where honesty and integrity comes into it, as well as a bit of a bit of a financial risk too. So that is something that I am going to uh, be doing, and you will see the uh, the benefits of this coming uh, as time goes on. At the moment, I am still waiting, of course, for the lavalier mic to arrive. That's taken a long time. It's sitting in a warehouse in Germany. I thought the Germans, the Germans, I thought they were efficient, but it appears no, no. Oh well. But the good thing about it, though, of course, is that with this camera, and as this camera will have some sort of zoom lens, not a very far zoom lens, but it will have a moderate optical zoom lens, I'll be able to put the camera on a stand and I'll be able to, uh, to, to stand away from it. And with the zoom um, mounted to it, picking up the sound of the birds in stereo while I walk around and get even further away from that camera than it will be possible for me to get away from this and still be in sharp focus and look close up with the lavalier mic here, I'll be able to um, do quite a lot of things and make my videos quite versatile. I'll be able to um, walk around, of course, with uh, the selfie stick, as it were, <laughs> this thing that I've got at the moment, with the camera and the Zoom H1 mounted on top of each other, um, feed the audio into the camera, and then that way there's very little in the line of post-production that I have to do. So that'd be good, be very easy for me um, to do that. Um, it will be much more low maintenance, and um, it'll be much easier and less faffy for me to do what I'm doing, because that is part of the problem. It does still at this point involve a lot of faffing around. So, I know I'm not really going on or talking all that much about a lot of deep stuff, at this point but i will say while we're at it everyone say hello to the horse hello horsey there you go nice beastie isn't he yeah i mean i'll go up to him and say hello but the trouble is i'm a bit wary of shape of stroking animals just in case of course <laughs> he's carrying the lurgy i hate this man i really hate having to think like this i really do i've been conditioned i've been brainwashed oh no i must be the sheeple <laughs> oh well got to take the piss out myself before you lot beat me to it and I really yeah so I shall leave it at that and um, I'm gonna be feeling filming a back-to-back -back video as well so um, you know tomorrow's one which is coming up straight after this one actually and that one is gonna be a bit deeper and is gonna um, cover more philosophical stuff more food for thought than this one so look out for that um, but nevertheless I just thought yeah tell you about the upgrades that are coming to this channel right see you later alligator see you soon a baboon if you like this content don't forget to like subscribe and share also join the facebook group follow us on twitter and subscribe on bitshoot it's early days for us yet so please help this channel grow and it will be gratefully appreciated if you do